In this video, we will be looking at how to install four extra gigabytes of RAM into a 13 inch mid 2010 MacBook Pro. So we're starting off with a MacBook Pro that's a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, and we want to make it from four gigabytes to eight gigabytes. For my RAM upgrade, I use the Cosair Mac memory. So here we have the, it's four gigabytes, uh, and you, I got two of them, and they are DDR, DDR3, and at 1066 megahertz. And so here we have all the information provided from the website. I'll provide a link below if you want to look at all the stuff about this. And we have the tech uh, information all at the bottom over here. Now for the MacBook, we have to have two memory cards of RAM, with each being four gigabytes and putting it together, we'll get an accumulation of eight gigabytes for the MacBook Pro. And here's what the Corsair RAM cards look like in their packaging, and you can look at all the information here if you'd like, where it's compatible with Apple, iMacs, and then more information here at the back about their limited warranties. And so this is how you would rather open it. You just cut it from the top, be careful about it, and you could just pop it right there and slip it right out from the package. And it comes with a little book as well that you can read if you'd like. So here's what, the, what they look like when you open both of them. And make sure you have your MacBook Pro turned off and closed when you want to open it up. You want it completely shut off. So now flip it over. So on the bottom we have 10 Phillips screws here with the first three are the longest. The first three right there are the longest with all the rest where I'm pointing are the smaller screws. So keep that in mind when you have to put things back in and as you're taking them out. A simple screwdriver set like this should be fine where you can find one that will fit the Phillips screws. So you want to have the process now of starting to unscrew and you want to make sure that your screwdrivers are discharged of any possible charge. So as you just take them out, just keep track of where they might be coming from. And as you can see, it's very small size for the ones over there. So you don't want to lose them. So after that, you just pop up the lid like that quite easily and reveals the inside of the MacBook Pro, as you can see right here, where we have the battery, the hard drive, the disk drive, and the fan. And of course, where we're, where we're going to be working at is the RAM right here. So when taking out the RAM, there are two tabs there, if you can see, uh, as I am pulling them to the side. When you pull them to the side, it just pops out easy, just like that. And as you're taking them out, you want to hold the sides just in case you have some residual charge on you, you do not want to fry the RAM. They could be used for other things later on, even though those are the ones I'm getting rid of. So put them on any surface that's not charged. Just take them out like that, easy and carefully. So then here, you take out the package now for the Corsair RAM, the four gigabyte RAM cards. Take them out nice and slow. And you wanna look at the groove to see if the groove right there matches up with the groove on the computer, which is right there. So you just slide them in, bottom first, into their slots, and then you kind of push downwards until you hear a bit of a click as those tabs snap around them on the sides. And the same thing is for the top, you just snap it down until you hear a bit of a, a click. And then you have it together, you put the top on, nice and sturdy, put the screws back in in their original positions and when you turn it back on there will be a bit of a delay as the computer is registering this new RAM uh, it takes some time a little bit not too long as you will see a loading sign then the Apple comes up and you're ready to go so here we'll be able to look at about this Mac to see if it's worked to see if the RAM is registered in here we see now registered as 8 gigabytes at 1067 megahertz. Now you have to make sure that you have the same megahertz uh, for, for the new RAM that you're buying, otherwise your computer will not register it, as that did happen to me previously. So you want to have the same RAM speed for these, these RAM cards to match what your computer had previously, so that I can be able to uh, work with it, as Macs can be a little bit more finicky in that matter. And after upgrading the RAM for the Mac, I would say it's a very good upgrade. The Corsair actually works quite well with the MacBook Pro and allows me to do many more tasks and at faster speeds.